What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. It's the round of where we left off. We have secured Moscow and are now pushing northwest to cut a path through towards the Swedes. Although we're not at war with Sweden, but we do want to start to open up ports in the Baltic. But without further ado, we are intercepting um, a few Russian stacks that look like they're attempting to head their way east. Or they were attempting to head their way east in an attempt to try and raid now Ottoman lands. So we're going to destroy this stack in a head-on fight. But right now, I'm really, really happy about how this campaign's going. Um, very, very happy, really. Um, and I'm looking forward to just rolling across Europe. That should be quite fun. Okay, let's deploy... My artillery a bit further back on the hill, just to lob round shots at range. Howitzers up front, deploying quicklime. And let's deploy a strong front line of troops, although I might deploy my howitzers a bit further back, just to make sure there's not as much fratricide. Move up my melee infantry behind them. Group up my skirmishers on the left. The bulk of my cavalry on the right. Some on the left. General on the centre. So the idea is just let my just let my artillery do some work at range while I move into position. We have an infantry unit that's been, that, exp that is exposed on the right. So I do want to uh, make sure I swarm them as, <clears throat> as early as possible. Because it looks like they have learned fire by rank, finally. So it looks like we might actually have a bit of a uh, reasonable opponent on our hands. These guys are just going to chew up the 53rd. They're just being swarmed from fire from so many areas. Damn, that's a big <laughs> quick limb shot on the 21st. What I want, but what I want is to my for my cavalry to be in a position. So I might just move them up now. Move my cavalry up, move my infantry up. Storm the hill, drop quick climb on this battalion in square. Yeah, they're being. Oh no, no, don't sit behind the wall. Get into a normal position and fire. Granted, not taking advantage of the long range, but at least the accuracy will help. Although, if you're not going to be normal, you guys are going to form into a uh, into a solid rank. That is danger close quick climb. We actually got some friendly fire there. Charging my pikemen, charging my janissaries. Charge the general. I really shouldn't have done that on an open mic. Sorry about that for everyone. If your eardrums have now exploded. I 
So this new guy is out here, ready to attack the 7th. Charge these guys with the line infantry. See, this is why you have your melee. Well, I like having my melee, melee infantry behind the line. Storm my infantry up to take position at the top of the hill. Bunch of quick lime coming in, and I really hope it's not hit that combat. No, it hasn't, thank god. Well, it might have done, some of it might have done. It really might have done. These Israelis look very upset. Right, we're ganging up on the 6th Regiment of Foot with my pikemen. Switch these guys to round shot. Eh, make sure to kill these guys. I think we've established in a few battles, shattering doesn't necessarily mean they're destroyed on the campaign map. <coughs> there you go. A rifleman even then. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. There we go. My um, my riflemen, even though they, even though they don't, they don't have the benefit of firing at maximum range. Will be in a position to do a significant amount of damage. It's total fire with all of my artillery right now. General. Got a regiment of foot unit that's come back from routing. Cavalry's going to take some losses, probably from pot shots. But I really do want to kill this particular unit first. Charge into them if they're not going to give you the opportunity. My general chased down that last unit of line. My cavalry might be tired, but they are at full strength. So they've put the herd on them. Actually, this cavalry can chase down the other weakened unit. There we go. Mop them up. And let's speed up time. So I think... Continue. Go help the general. These two guys should be able to mop up 24 infantrymen. Now down to 10. Down to 8. 4, 3, 2, 1. Dead. We've got one unit all the way back here. It's going to route, and good luck to them. Just get my heart says just to shoot at them. Or the out of range. There we go. And the last unit is going to rout. Um, we can't get them all. Close victory. That wasn't really close, but I'll take it. Because mopping up these uh, secondary armies are something you just really need to get used to doing. 
Can you guys replenish? We're only 300. No, you cannot. But our men are pushing out to the frontier. And then we're going to slam our way through uh, Minsk, Vilnius, Yelvaga, Riga. Leave, an, uh, leave some troops behind ready to fight against the Swedes at St. Petersburg. And then we'll smash in through the west. And then that will be that. So we're going to get carbines done next turn. Is that carbines? Shorten carbines. Yep, yeah, one turn. Shit in turn. Ooh, we managed to successfully kill another another um, Austrian priest. Which is very good news. Yeah, you guys have got a longer front to defend than you uh, otherwise thought you would have. Sorry, fellas. They are gathering their strength. Uh, do we want to intercept? No, because we're going to intercept everybody. I've done this before. It's not a bridge battle. I mean, I'm going to auto that. I mean, we really shouldn't have lost that many men. But it's knocked some troops back. Yeah, that Prussian army has just pulled out of Moscow and just headed west at all speed. Another full stack's moved in. But yeah, so this co this uh, concentration they've got is going to find itself um, in quite a lot of trouble when our armies smash westward and take them out. Don't worry, Moogles. I've got my eyes on you as well. They cannot be trusted, because they will declare war on me at the drop of a hat. Another imam in Transylvania. I'll say another. It's not really another. Let's drop you. Let's send you to... Minsk. It's a new target. A new town in the Crimea. Have a craft workshop. Because you're already pretty Islamic as it is. Steam pump dying mine. Natural causes. One of our imams has died. Damn. Okay, let's get some replenishment done on these armies that took a bit of hammering. My priests have managed to successfully annihilate all of the uh, all of the priests that were here, leaving the field open for us to convert Hungary. Abul Hamid Hoka has gained a few traits. We've got shortened carbines, they're starting to work on improved coppering. And I'm probably okay with that. Which I might go for interchangeable parts to get the reductions in upkeep and bonus from town wealth. Because right now our army is expanding and we're starting to get some pretty good buildings built now. Let's upgrade the madrasa, upgrade the farm. But the thought that has crossed my mind is I may wish to upgrade this fella to a steam dry dock. Start to recruit a navy here because this force in the Strait of Hormuz will block any attempt from any attempt of the Mughals to send an army straight up and attack Baghdad and Esfahan. I got some more troop being recruited in the Ukraine. Let's pick a Sultan's Observatory. And they've also got some recruitment in Anatolia. This army is finished. There's not a whole lot of point shipping them straight over, so just send him on a... I was about to let, or to let uh, the normal pathfinding figure that out, but now I definitely do want to manually send them places. Okay, let's upgrade this fellow to the Ordnance Board, just 
if nothing else, to keep the uh, late game artillery techs available to be researched. There we go. This guy was a pretty good priest, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's get one of you up to Koningsberg. Let's get one of you into Warsaw. We don't need the intelligence ahead of us here. We've got our priest. Agent executed. Ah, agent in Vilnius, one of our spies, has been taken out. But we do have an opportunity to hit Petrovskaya and expand our front line against the Swedes. Let's take you. Auto-resolve against this small army. You're probably going to... I'm going to reinforce you with one of the infantry from Ukraine. But let's march you up a bit further. And let's repair... Let's repair the madrasa and let's repair this. So if you upgrade the madrasa, then my priest can move on. Even though he's an excellent priest. Let's move him on to St. Petersburg. If we've got the madrasa, then we will slowly, you know, um, Islam will slowly grow anyway. You're still growing. Bashrika. Are you even fully converted? Lots of successful missions from our priests. And a couple of our generals gained more traits. Let's move you up to here. Let's upgrade Smolensk to a craft workshop. Put Minsk under siege. Okay, do you want? Hmm, it's a lot of troops. Might want to have two protecting this pass. Two armies. Especially as I've got two pushing around. Well, I've got three, four, realistically, pushing around. I'd like two to stay here near St. Petersburg, though. Okay, one more turn to get platoon firing. Then we get machined rifling. Okay, let's hit end turn. The next turn we will attack Minsk. Just give them a turn of attrition. Especially because we A, we've got time, and B, there aren't any forces nearby that can uh, that can support them. There's another priest. Spain the Spanish are fighting Sweden near Madrid in their homeland, which is good. More Prussian troops sent eastward. Well, they're making more of an effort to push through the center. I may move my reserve army into the front to provide them with some support. That's a lot of troops. And we might... Uh, hmm. Question is, would, do I throw all my infantry, into all my armies into the line and fight one giant battle? Huh, they're sallying out. Well, my plan was to give them a turn of attrition, but let's take them out on this army. Is, yeah, it's, no, it's got some experience. Let us withstand the sally from Minsk. But I fear this army will uh, will be cut down. Well, the Russian army will be cut down. Our army will be the one doing the cutting. Especially when we have such beautiful terrain as this. got to remember is that they do hold a qualitative infantry advantage 
So the, this wing is going to fan out. Let's have a look at the Nizam light infantry. They do look pretty good. Same pattern or general pattern as the light as the line infantry. Actually, let's combine you guys just so now I've deployed you. No, I don't really want you that that order. I think the order I then want to do is pick the light infantry first, infantry, infantry, grenadiers, and that should mean. Well, not the grenadiers, but my janissary musketeers. But yes, I do have to remember they have superiority in infantry, so I do need my I do need my uh, my artillery to do some good work. So I can put my sec band janissaries behind the artillery to prevent or to protect against a charge. Put a unit of cavalry on each flank for some support. Oh no, sorry, I kept in my head for some reason. I kept thinking I was fighting against Prussians rather than Russians. Just deploy wide. Then my howitzers start to drop down some almighty quick lime. I want to watch this for sure. Boom, boom. Charles are inbound. Oh, God alive. The first one was the best. Straight through. And one, two, three infantry units. Simonievsky foot guards. I forgot they have some artillery. Yeah. General's gone on a suicide charge, even though I'm not even attacking him. They're aiming me out. Why infantry? Well, some of it. How do they expect this to go for them? Realistically, this wing can advance up to the tree line, probably at speed. And a canister shot of their general. As more quick climb goes in. Damn knows why they just suicided their general like that. But I think such slaughter is beautiful. Aha, regiment of line. Send in my heavies. You hit the Simonievsky foot guards, you keep pounding that combined formation there. And there we go, the first shots are in from my riflemen. Their infantry is broken, but they have lost quite a few men. There we go. The charge of the, the Ottoman heavy cavalry straight into a unit of Russian infantry. Downhill as well. They have been ridden down. It's time to lose men, but it better not be because... Yeah, I think it is. Keep fighting them. The battle is being joined. 
Get my cavalry ready. Spread my light infantry out to weaken this regiment of foot, the Butyrski. But Butyrski. Butyrski. Smash straight into them. Should probably go into formation, but I don't think it's going to matter. They're out of position. Out of the cavalry. Just run. Run towards their gunners. Quick line powitzers start to support this flank. Make sure they don't come back. Actually, one of the, these quick climb units needs to hit the tenth. Blaster. My light infantry is firing at range into the 14th. I see Patty back here have hit their gunners. Push my infantry up. And they're massing on this flank. Hit the 10th with my cavalry. They're weak. I'll try a diamond formation, but I don't know if it's going to do any, if it's going to realistically work. So my, so my other Sipahi have charged in in diamond formation. You go hit them. There we go. Run this infantry unit around. Let's get artillery units hit the third regiment. Because if you can fire and hit them, they would make a beautiful target. the 18th because they are mostly intact and they're broken so now is a perfect opportunity to thin the numbers a bit because they are almost certainly going to come back beware that that regiment the third regiment because they are a quick climb target after the third it's 10 my artillery off of quick line onto round shot to make any friendly fire that much less devastating good stuff because 
these guys should be tearing them apart. The 5th Regiment. Is he really going to fire? Are they going to fire? No, they've not reloaded. God damn, the 37th Auto letting them get away. all artillery fire now just to be safe well, that didn't really help continue to chase down the guards okay let's bring quickline back Ooh, gotta be round shots to hit the fifth I think that's everyone. So I'm going to speed up time. So not sweet. Oh, they can't fight. Oh, they were out of range. Not out of range for these guys, though. Chase them down. Yeah, we're going to continue now because those guys came back. Get these guys out of diamonds. Help the artillery. We could try to get our general to work. Or to do some work. Once he's passed that final unit of infantry. Chase down the 77th. So now I am chasing people down with heavy cavalry. That's not a good idea. Because your men get tired really quickly. Okay, go help these guys run down the 10th. If my general gets to those people, he gets to them. Hey, everyone's attacking the 10th. Ah, oh, they routed. Dang. That was a good battle. That's a really good battle. We just destroyed the garrison. Mm, the Swedes sense victory. Well, they sense weakness on the part of the Russians. But the more they disperse their troops, the more we will then take advantage of that dispersion. I am quite surprised that the Ottoman, that the uh, Mughals haven't done anything against us yet. Platoon firing has been researched. Um, instead, to be honest, improved coppering is not bad. Okay, let's get some of these roads going. In the sort of backwaters. Let's upgrade the fur trapper posts and whatnot. Considering we can actually export them now. Or well, we could export them previously, but... There you go, let's keep growing Moscow's economy. Move this army just right up to the border. Can't repair that. I can move the infantry up. My priest. Get into St. Petersburg and start stirring up trouble. Some Successful missions. And this guy hit hit into trouble. He might go straight for Vilnius. I'm probably going to destroy this coaching in to make room for a madrasa. Let's demand the surrender. Well, let's take them out now. Even though it will, it will overrun, um, it will it will not take long. Before the enemy army is weakened, severely weakened. So this should be pretty quick. Just an angry swarm of angry red men in orange coats. 
form a giant line, including my um, Sekban Janissaries, because this is going to be a proper assault. Drop my howitzers ahead of my line, because I can deploy them there. Group my cavalry together, because they're weakened. Light infantry, stay back in reserve. forward the horde. Secure the town hall. There goes the garrison militia. Send my cavalry straight in. Secure the keys. Poor old Siemonivsky foot guards. They look beautiful, but they aren't. They aren't going to help. God, I would like to redo my Russia campaign, really. Although it'd be fairly similar to the one I'm running now. Sorry, 77th. That must have hurt. So who's involved here? Line infantry. Where are my Sekban Janissaries? Oh well. Get my heavy cavalry to charge down the general's bodyguard. Yeah, there's only so much they can do. Oh, there's an infantry unit back here. A regiment of foot. You guys out of here. You guys go wait. Charge into the back of the general's bodyguard. That's a good round shot straight into the ninth. They're routing every possible direction. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they're just done. Just swarm. No style. No finesse. No quality. No... No strategy, no thought. Just swarm, swarm, swarm. Attack Pan and Alpha. The 17th, I'm going to stand up for this. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> oh. All because we destroyed their garrison. Okay, rather than fix their building, let's spend all that money on repairing our men. Or repairing our troops. Of course, in March, Mr. Siri up through the farmland, through into Dinaberg. Do we march on Riga to really box in the Swedes? And we also march you into Petrovskaya, demand surrender. No, oh, maintain siege for now. But that's pretty good. Actually, I probably will. 
I'll probably attack that, but I think that's a, that's something to do during the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the fairly simple attack of Petrovskaya. Cheers, everyone.